Hello my friends and welcome to Inside Electronic Channel. Uncle Misha is with you today. So what we have here, we have smart outlets and this is outdoor. Those two little devices came in nice and little and beautiful package and I got them in Costco. And what's very interesting here that each of those housing two devices. So if you have something outdoor like a illustrate here little lights and things like that you can control them remotely works with google assistant amazon alexa yada 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 obviously made in china but at least it's all just certified and um, it only needs wi-fi right only add water and that's it that's it so let's take a look what the heck are those and um, let's see some specs by the way so they are 15 amp this is good resistive and 8 amp tungsten so if it's like a big you know light bulb that's gonna be only 8 amp it works with bgn not just like bg rubbish um, 2.4 gigahertz does not support 5 gigahertz unfortunately but it's fine um, <laughs> supports wpa plus 20 dbm oh supports operation mode nice so it's not too bad so let's say it is 8 amp tungsten resistance so for example if you connect your kettle to this thing it's not gonna work so kettle usually consumes way more unless your kettle is wimpy okay uh, let's just uh, do quick unboxing and see what are those so let's just open this and see what we uh can we just, oh i probably just can open this like that without need of a scissors maybe can i yeah oh yeah that's so much better. like it's really Oh wow, they are pretty beefy devices. Okay, it's a Prime brand. Curious if I would be able to. Ah, I would. Look at those two screws. Nice. For my convenience. And, uh, very stiff cable though. Yeah. I'm also curious if this is individual, individually um, t can be individually turned on and off, or that's like um, uh, not. So I'm curious about that. So we have unit number one, and let me pull out unit number two. So junk. Nice. So. Cool, manual override button, both both outlets operate in unison, so I don't have to even check that, so yes, they are simultaneously operated, very simple, everything is super, super simple. Hey, they congratulate us. Okay, so one of them will be sacrificed to the gods of... Um, tear down that's gonna be you I'm pretty sure I ex oh my so where is what's going on there it feels like it I don't like this rattling sound Okay, looks like it was like thrown around because this is all broken. This is fine. This was broken. How the heck is this possible? Look. The frick. Anyways. Look at this. It's all shattered. Okay, so hmm. clearly this guy would be... Yeah put under the microscope alrighty so we have one button here we have the outlets everything is crimped and soldered it properly grounded obviously because this is very important and right away we see here nice and beautiful air um, serial port which we can whip up something and rejig re uh, firmware and probably i can even we'll, we'll do this on this one because this is all busted so i will keep it for experiments and then i probably resolder all, all, all this stuff so let's take a look a bit closer 
So I decided to put this broken device to the side and uh, do teardown analysis a bit later. The first I'll try to actually connect this guy and see how it works. So for that I use this Smart Life application. I'm not sure if this is the application they can they recommended here. Uh, they didn't say Prime Wire and Cable Ink up. Well, I mean, I know that I don't want to use like a bazillion different applications. I already have one for the devices I'm going to show you in the uh, link right here. And I think, I assume, this is going to be working because I already, for example, control my HRV through this one. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, so how are we going to do that? Let's just power this little guy up. Okay. It is powered, I think. So it is blinking. So let's do plus. Okay, a, this app seems like have a lot of device to enable Bluetooth. Of course, turn Bluetooth on. I will do. We'll do. Ah, it's not Android. It's here. Of course, you have to put your Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is on. Smart Life. Okay. Wow, it's many of them here. What? This is new. I've never seen that many things. Okay, well, like, that's just whatever. Uh, let's go back. Sorry. Electrical. Plug. Socket. So, it's just generic socket. This is, is going to be just super generic socket. Switch. Power strip. Power strip. So, okay, this is just socket. My network, I'm gonna hide this from you, I'm sorry. I did reset the device. Something going on there, I'm not sure what's going on. Outdoor smart outlet, amazing! So I'm using some generic app, which is not even what they recommended, because actually I like this app more, and... Click! Clock. It's gonna find it, and this thing is still on. So I don't know. <laughs> That's actually weird. Well, at least it works. I don't care. Okay, guys. So keep in mind that you can use this smart outlet with this smart light application. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. And, and I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, again, I'm pretty sure there are a set of different applications which would work out of the box with this device. Okay, which would work just out of the box just fine. Not necessarily you have to use one. I found this device and it works for me well. And also I can register any of those devices with my uh, uh, Google Play. And uh, I don't have any app devices, app store thingies. I only have Alexa guys, but looks like they didn't mention anything from Amazon. So Google Play is fine. So you can voice command this, for example, to shut on and off. So that's it. It uh, was easy peasy. Next step, we will try to analyze uh, this guy. But for now, I go and connect my outdoor lights to this guy. And I'll continue with this. All right, all right. Let's take a look back at this little guy over here. So what do we have? So this guy over here is... Let me put my little cheat sheet right here. This is uh, ASP8285. Okay. Um, I already checked. This little guy can be tasmatized. So essentially you can rewrite the original firmware with Tasmata firmware. Hence, ha we have handy here all those RXTX uh, serial interface. Even not just that. We have also like extra ground, extra reset and things like that. So this is a really, really awesome. This button and LED can be, I don't know, if can, they can be reprogrammed or but whatever. Uh, over here we have also the... Um, 3.3 LM1117, which is just regular lobster power voltage regulator. And right here we have a little um, diode and transistor to drive this relay. 
right there we have probably this is Zener and over here this cheapy called OB2222 MCP which is pulse width modulator power switch for non-isolated power supply so this thing does not have halvanic insulation from the mains obviously because there is no isolation transformer or anything like that this thing connects directly to mains through this uh, it's really hard to show you see this little chippy right there it's not chippy this one right that's a bridge rectifier so it takes uh, through those capacitors and it it, uh, it it takes straight mains and then it does um, all necessary switching so this topology requires just a few external elements and there is also a um, necessary inductor right here because this device requires inductor uh, so uh, on the input side we have a filtering choke like here uh, this is the coil like or choke and we have also uh, a resistor right here and that's pretty much it there is no um, uh, any kind of how do you call it fuses or anything like that so yeah we have just a resistor and we have a filtering choke there is no even filtering capacitor and uh, two capacitors uh, for 200 volt how how I don't know they are at least the 105 rated 105c rated so that's good but they're so tiny i don't know how many microfarad they are 3.3 microfarad so two 3.3 microfarad 200 volt capacitors they look, those two little capacitors they are on a on the secondary side uh, sort of uh, 10 uh, 100 microfarad 10 volt that's pretty much it as i mentioned technically this not technically i haven't tried this device can be uh, operating with the smart firmware and you know, if I'm gonna have inspiration I'm gonna give it a shot I already spent a lot of time poking around with some of devices switching them to the smart firmware but that was actually successful after uh, at the end so uh, there is not much say on this side this is button and two diodes uh, indicating different mode this one I think indicates the uh, connected to Wi-Fi this indicates on or of uh, it was manufactured in 2019 uh, may 2019 21st may of 2019 that's pretty much it i can mention about this device uh, right now these devices are like a pr pretty simple all, all over the shop and as as, as many as I, as I open only like some obscure devices use something else but majority of stuff using ESP uh, one uh, or another ESP8266 or ESP8285 uh, I haven't seen any yet to, to use ESP32 but that's because you don't really need anything like ESP32 for this sort of uh, operation um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up. I think this device is is fine as long, as, especially if you get it some sort of uh, some sort of sale. It looks like there is a whole bunch of different clones. This one is called Prime Outdoor, but essentially they're gonna be very identical inside. And I'm pretty sure uh, on uh, Alibaba and stuff like that you can buy very similar devices. Now I have to figure out how to actually put it all together because this stuff seems like completely uh, busted also I want to mention oh my god it's all broken here also I want to mention that I thought this thing gonna have some sort of rubber gaskets or anything uh, around the seam right here okay sorry for uh, unfocused image so I want to mention that I thought it's gonna have some sort of rubber gasket or something along the seam and I thought this is gonna be some sort of well this is sort of rubberized yeah because if you I don't know press it like this and put it all together that's but it's not like I mean there's no screws nothing really pressing again on, on this yeah I don't know how durable and water waterproof this thing is it says outdoors but like I mean I don't know it's just it's very questionable questionable durability it's not even sealed especially now after this guy is completely has completely busted all this just and know what heck happened there uh i don't even know if i can trust it so yeah it's only two like only one screw is is actually okay those two screws are bust so yet yeah, i don't know what the heck happened there but anyways i'm gonna just uh, assemble it 
and uh, still gonna use it because it's uh, it's a shame not to use it i'm not sure if i'm gonna even bother uh, reflashing it to tasmata at the moment at least not now uh, but definitely gonna use it if i'm gonna so for example stick it somewhere in garage it'd be still doing just fine and i'm pretty sure this this device is operational it's not like it busted just uh and another possibility that it was not bashed or anything this thing was just oh shit okay that's bad this thing was just a someone over torque those screws you know just apply a little bit too much force and it just got ripped yeah that's possibility that's a possibility so now i have to disassemble it take the screw out and never actually put it back on What a shame. I have to MacGyver something or maybe just glue them together. So if I if this is the one I'm gonna be using, so I better just Yeah. Yeah. So just one screw is working. So maybe use some something. Alright, so this is gonna be it. Uh, so guys, if you ever had experience with this sort of prime outdoor thingy from Costco, please make a comment. Uh, was it good for you or not? probably was just fine uh, i don't have much of experience of using these devices long term so i don't know how durable they are or i'm not talking about this particular one all all, all those um uh, how do you call them smart smart outlets i have like several different kinds uh, around the home uh, so yeah like i haven't much of experience of using those so so far they work so this one is already kind of a victim of itself so uh but uh, i'm pretty sure they can last uh, as long as those capacitors gonna last <laughs> that's it as long as they're gonna be properly uh, able to be properly powered yeah so that's my opinion on that so guys thank you for watching see you next time stay safe and healthy see you next yeah i already said that ciao